coverage you can count on. This is Fox 2 News. A Manchester City photography contest is causing controversy. The top entries are displayed at the city's police department. One of them shows a Westboro Baptist Church protester holding offensive signs. Fox 2's Rebecca Roberts joins us live from Manchester with why some say it doesn't belong in the building and while others say there's a good reason to keep it there. Rebecca? Sandy, the Westboro Baptist Church is known by many as a hate group that protests military funerals and blames homosexuality for America's troubles. But this Kansas-based group is no longer able to protest funerals in Manchester, which is why one city alderman actually sees this photo and this building here as a point of pride. And these were kind of the top 40, 50 American photos. Mike Clement has been a Manchester alderman for more than a decade. He also leads the city's arts organization, which held its first ever photo contest. And we ask uh, photographers, amateur and professional, to submit photos that uh, perhaps told a story about this community, depicting people, buildings, uh, scenes. Among those scenes that made the cut, a Westboro Baptist Church member picketing at Manchester's Strader Park. According to Clement, they picketed out of anger after city leaders passed an ordinance banning Westboro from protesting at Manchester funerals. Our bill that protects uh, funerals uh, has become a model for, for the whole country. And for me, this is why this photo here is so important. It's, it's an important part of the story of this community. Westboro tried to fight it, but Manchester's ordinance has held up in court. I know it probably strikes some people uh, in a negative way, but I look at it and just say, this is a community that has prevailed and triumphed. Still, we caught up with some veterans at a nearby VFW who personally experienced Westboro funeral protests and find the photo's imagery beyond offensive. Then I'd take it down. If, I, I, if it were me, I would take it down. Another says the depiction of a trampled flag and thank God for dead soldiers sign has no place in a government building, no matter the story behind it. I'm pretty disgusted by it. I mean, I, I would think at a police department, which is a, a government, a professional building, they would have more common sense not to post something that disrespectful. Now, after receiving multiple complaints about this photo, the city alderman wanted to take it down, but Alderman Mike Clement wouldn't let him. New at 10, find out how the alderman plans to show people that this photo is not a celebration of Westboro, but of Manchester. Reporting live in Manchester, Rebecca Roberts, Fox 2 News.